Hello everyone! Today I am going to show you how you can creatively using keyframing in your videos to really jazz up your content and hopefully bring more likes to your videos. First up, the classic dolly zoom effect. It's also called vertical effect sometimes and it plays with the audience perception by zooming in on the lens while the camera is moving away from the subject or vice versa. Did you know that we can actually pull this off easily using Femora? Let me show you how. First on our agenda, we are filming a pushing shot. Grab your camera or smartphone and here's Slava to help us nail it perfectly. Check out the technique. Who needs a fancy slider when you have Slava? Now let's bring the footage into Fomora. We had a pushing shot so we are going to zoom out using keyframes. I'll start by finding where the pushing begins. Add a keyframe for scale and position. Scaling up and centering the subject. Next, at the end of the push-in, add another keyframe. This time, scale down but keep the subject in roughly the same spot. Let's play it back. And there you have it, the dolly zoom effect. If you want to, you can also add curves to the two keyframes. Next, let's track our subject in the frame and lock onto them, just like this. Or you might have seen something similar in the Bees commercial. Put our clip on the first video track. Then add a default title on the second track. Change it to a plus sign and center it in the frame. Let's lock the second video track and start keyframing. I'll begin by positioning the plus sign right on my nose and keyframing the position and scale. Advance three frames. Adjust the position and scale and keep the plus sign aligned. Continue every three frames. Adjust more frequently if the movement is significant. Once we set the last keyframe, our lock-on effect is complete. Fast, right? For our last tip, I'll show you how to turn a photo into video using color keyframing. Here's a photo of a shop at night. I'll duplicate it twice and place it on the second and third video track. Let's work on the sign first. Select the photo on the second track. Create a mask around the sign here, adjust the settings, and let's add a little blur on the sides. Now go to the color tab. Find the temperature setting. Set a keyframe. Move the bar to the left. Set another keyframe after three frames. Move the bar to the right. Repeat this for a few times. Then select the photo on the third track. Create a mask around the window. Add a little blur to the sides. Then go to the color tab again. Find exposure. Create keyframes like how we did to the sign. Spare the keyframe further apart to vary the look. And here's the result. Wasn't that fun? With these keyframing tricks, you are all set to add that wow factor to your videos. If you love these tips and want to know more, let us know in the comments. Also, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell to stay updated. Thanks for watching, keep creating, and see you next time.